How bad is tri-loading for carabiners? We are going to tri-load, as we call it, or biaxial load, as I think it's supposed to be called. And we're going to pull on these on the narrow side, on the wide side, and just all sorts of ways, because there's a lot of variables with this kind of a test. We are going to find out what happens for science. Stay tuned. Pulling a carabiner in three directions instead of in line with the spine is unfortunately more common than we should have it. In slacklining, when you put a span set around a tree, it doesn't always come together at the very end. And it's pulling at, I don't know, different wide angles. And if you use a carabiner, it's kind of pulling, well, the way we're going to be testing it today. It also can happen in climbing anchors and anywhere you're not paying attention too much. So let's find out how much the strength is reduced. We also did a video where we tested it over this edge right here to find out if going over like a rock edge is uh, really bad for it. Spoiler alert, it is if, uh, if it's sticking up too much. If it's this is really bad, this is less bad. Anyways, you'll have to go check out that video. I have installed bolts on either side, and that is why the dyno is on this side of the equation. Hopefully this will catch it when things go flying. This, is, this happens, I've done it, I've seen it done. And we're gonna find out if this is bad, and then we're gonna find out if putting a carabiner directly in here, which makes it a sharper, steeper angle, if that is worse, which I assume it is because it'll be pulling on the gate. I imagine two against one is going to win. So we're just going to test this a couple times with different shapes. Here we have an oval and other ones we have where it's small on this side, wide on this side and similar shape. These are two identical carabiners. And as far as age goes, things basically break the same uh, regardless of how old they are when it comes to aluminum, unless they've got some major gouges and chips, which we have other videos showing that actually also doesn't affect it. Let's start pulling. Okay, I feel like I should go into another room when I do these tests. 21.25. There is the spring. Here is another part. Where's the other part go? Oh man, I have no idea where that thing went. I don't have a clue where it went. I found part of the nose. Fun fact, the spring belonged to these guys. <laughs> and this one has pretty much come out. It is busted. Um, it seems fine. This seems fine. That hanger is just rotating, so now I'm going to put these directly into an oval and see what happens. What is the MBS on this? 22. All right, let's just take a minute. 22. Hmm, okay, that's not what I'm trying to test today. This still works. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. That was an insane percussion. That left a ringing in my ears that quite hurts quite a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some ear, ear plugs. <laughs> All right, so we got less than MBS. It's not bad for a 22 kilonewton MBS to get 18, considering we did try load it. So our new and improved quick draw works. Steel carabiners with soft shackles. Now we have a tiny pear-shaped carabiner with a 21 kilonewton MBS that we are going to try load on the small side. And you can see here how it is kind of pulling on the gate, so there's not a lot of room for it, but the theory is that it's better for it. And then we'll uh, have another one that we'll do on the wide side. Oh, looks like the gate got wrecked. 
That metal is really, really warm. Our MBS is 21 kilonewtons. We got 17.03. Medicate is very interesting. Let's try the wide side now. Well, that's really interesting and a bummer at the same time. Uh, the gate is in better shape, but way, way lower being on the wide side of the pair. Here is another pear-shaped carabiner with a 26 kilonewton MBS, and this is more of a normal size. And we're gonna start with the skinny side. These holes, by the way, are directly in line of each other. These soft shackles are the same length. This is the same. So I don't know why it keeps going over to this side, but it does. That is a result I don't know if I've seen before. And we have carabiner components here. 15.75 being 50 to 60%, somewhere in there. That is pretty low. Now let's turn it around and see what happens if we use the wide side of the pair. So we're getting a consistent result that the wider side of the pair is lower. This is not the shape it was. That's a very different shape. And you can see how the nose is broken off and has some am steel on there. But, hmm, let's try another one. These components are coming coming apart. 18.80. So when we did the narrow side, the gate came flying off at 18.8. .8. When we did the wide side, the top half separated from the gate at 17.72. These are a lot closer in results. I do have one more of these guys. Let's try a wider angle and see what happens. This is literally the most I could try load this. I put these smaller shackles on, I could barely get it on. It has to be orientated this way in order for it to fit in the system. That's more than just the nose came off. The whole freaking head came off. I have no idea where it went. Yeah, you're getting half the value when a carabiner is tri-loaded. Or less than half because the MBS is 26 on this guy. Here is a 24 kilonewton MBS carabiner with a wider, more normal setup here. This is the most I can do with uh, the carabiner orientated this way. That gate is interesting. That nose came off at a little more than half of the strength. This is the first time I actually got hit with something standing behind these boxes over here. <laughs> now let's put this one in the other direction. Okay, our hanger is being worked pretty hard over here. And similar thing with the nose breaking. And that is less than half on the wide side. Very interesting. This is pretty cool being able to break all these. <laughs> it's very interesting to find out what tri-loading happens because sometimes your anchors are far apart, you put two quick draws on there and they're not quite touching like our very first test in this video where that's not really tri loading. As we got above MBS, all of these, mm, they got lower. Are you going to die if your carabiner breaks at 10 kilonewtons? Maybe not, but the whole point of this is to have a safety ratio and not just throttle the line of safety. 